Hey, good morning, everybody. So, this is the first day Highway 18 is open, but I'll be posting this tomorrow. Highway 18 back up to the Big Bear and Running Springs area. But right here, we're just taking a look at where the fire, the line fire started. It was right in there. As you can see, the top two thirds of that mountain are totally charred. Man, I mean, that's a huge area. They've done an incredible job. But yeah, we're gonna take Highway 18 so you all can uh, see what it's like to feel comfortable driving up. Hope you enjoyed the Highway 38 ride with the smoke and fog mixed in. It was kind of a trippy drive, but yeah. We're not gonna turn the camera really on much on Highway 18 until we get up to the top. But I just wanted you guys to see the scarring. Highway 330 is closed, as you can imagine, so you can't get up to Big Bear taking this next exit. You got to go all the way to Highway 18 and take the beautiful route on the top of the mountain. Bummer. Bummer, you got to see some beautiful sights. But yeah, we're going to shut this down in a second until we get to Highway 18. I just wanted to get one, one more little look-see. Of a look, so but yeah, it does look pretty bad up there. I mean, really bad up there. But these firefighters, man, amazing. Anyway, we got three and a half miles to go to get to Highway 18. Until then, we'll see you soon. Hope you enjoy the nice, beautiful drive, and hopefully, like on 38, we don't see much damage at all. I think that'll be wonderful. Okay, we're at the bottom of Highway 18. This is Waterman Avenue, which turns into Highway 18 right here. Well, I think it's all technically Highway 18, but no one refers to this mountain road as Waterman. They refer to it as Highway 18. So here we go. Again, this just reopened less than 24 hours ago, about 12 hours ago. shoot bits and pieces of it until we get up to the top. San Bernardino National Forest. Here we come. This really is a beautiful, beautiful drive. This stretch right here, when we look off to the right, kind of feels like you're on an airplane climbing. Hang on a second, let's get a Get a better view here. I love it. I love it so much. This is such a great area to live in. Every time I drive down there, I feel like I get depressed until I start heading up the mountain rapidly. Then I feel like I'm just entering heaven and peace and serenity. I'm very lucky to live up here, I'll tell you what. And when I moved up here in, in 2015, rent was incredibly cheap and I'm still paying the same that I paid, but a couple neighbors of mine whose homes are basically the same, when they moved out and the new people moved in, their rent was almost three times as much as what I'm paying right now. So things have changed. The market in Big Bear has gotten just horrible. Of course, if you've been a homeowner for a decade or more, congratulations, I'm super happy for you. I'm just a little butt hurt because I'd like to buy my own property up there and it's just not the time. Not the time, definitely a seller's market up there. But yeah, we will keep on 
clipping. See you all soon. Okay, we're coming up to Waterman Canyon Road. And I don't know if anybody knew this. I think this is correct. The Mormons actually founded this area. When they made a trek out to California to, uh, to set up shop, I think this whole area was founded by the Mormons. Joseph Smith and the Mormons. See, there is some education on this channel. I know watching it most of the time will make us all dumber, <laughs> but there's a little bit of education here. Oh, I just, I love how they maintain Highway 18. The other routes, not nearly as well. But this is the, the main way up to like Lake Arrowhead and Crestline. But yeah. See you soon. Okay, as you can see, we're getting into the, driving into the clouds right now. Again, another cool experience on these mountain roads. When you're down at the bottom of the mountain looking up, it looks like the clouds are way up there. But then when you take these mountain roads, you inevitably hit them. And it's pretty awesome. Once we hit Crestline, we're going to keep the video on the whole entire time through Running Springs. Okay, folks, we're coming into the Crestline area. Crestline's a, a great little, as far as I'm concerned, a great little town up here. Parts of Crestline are extremely green because they get a lot of this, uh, these clouds and fog that roll through and it just keeps everything moist really beautiful part of this mountain range. And again, just to reiterate, this is uh, the first day that Highway 18 is open. I was a little kid riding up here with my mom. This fog would freak me out because you're right, right on the edge here. And I was always worried that we'd go tumbling thousands and thousands of feet down. But yeah, I'll shut this off for a second and come back in a few. You're not gonna be able to see much other than this anyway for right now. So see you guys soon. This is pretty neat shot I don't know if you guys can can see through the camera but these clouds are just blowing right right over it just right here to the right again there's a massive cliff to the right here and it's just so cool seeing these clouds roll in I'm not smelling any smoke over here I'm like or like I did on highway 38 it was really bad on highway 38 but we're still, I think, a, a, a little bit of a distance away from where we're going to really start smelling it. But this has to be really good for the firefighters because it's really, really moist. All right, we'll see you guys soon. All right, y'all. We took quite a bit of a break because it's just the, the same old stuff. But we're coming into a town called Sky Forest. And if you look at my videos um, in the lodging part of the playlist... You'll find a video of the hotel my wife and I stayed at on the cliff here. I think it's, oh man, Sky Forest Inn or something like that. But it's it's literally on the edge, about five or 6,000 feet up. And it's 
unbelievable. I strongly suggest when you guys come up to the San Bernardino National Forest, you try to make that one of your stops. Stay there for a, a night or two. It's really incredible. It's coming up here on the right hand side. I'm not gonna be able to, to see it. But yeah, this is this is great weather for, for what we need to help these firefighters. It's not rain, it's just big fog. And these droplets are from the trees that we are driving under. All right, so we've entered Sky Forest. I just really wanted to show you guys where this place is. This pizza joint was really tasty as well. Sky View Inn. Sorry, it's called the Sky View Inn. I'm telling you guys, check it out on my channel, the lodging part of the playlist, so you can see what I'm talking about. It's probably the most incredible view of any hotel I've ever stayed at anywhere on the planet. And we're coming up to Santa's Village pretty soon here. Bring your kids up to Santa's Village in the wintertime. This mountain has so much to offer and so much to take your mind off of your everyday grind. So yeah, I think this is Santa's Village to the left. I think, I can't even tell. But anyway, I will come back to you guys shortly. Hoping we come out of this at some point. All right, so we've just technically entered Running Springs, so we're gonna keep the camera rolling through, probably throughout the rest. And as I said, I hope we come out of this, but at the same time, I kinda don't because this is really damping things down. And anything that Mother Nature can do to help make it easier for these firefighters, I'm all for it. Again, it's not raining, it's just whenever we drive under these power lines or trees, we're getting dripped on. I'll bet you anything, once we get over near the little Arctic Circle, about a, I don't know, I think it's like a 10 mile stretch that takes you to the Big Bear area. I, I, I'll bet once we get over there, we'll be cleared out of all this. And still, I'm not smelling any smoke. I just rolled down my window a minute ago. I'm not smelling any smoke. I'm very happy to uh, 
I'll tell you guys that. Because we're coming up to Highway 330. Which is where the most fire damage is located. Along the 330. I'm wondering how long they're going to keep it closed. downtown part of Running Springs. They've got a couple restaurants and grocery store. Jensen's grocery store. Only place I've ever seen those is in this mountain range. Oh, look at all this Foss check. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Unreal, guys. So yeah, fire got really close to this area right here. Thank all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. much out there but I mean the Foss check is everywhere they really laid it down over here there's the guard it's cool to see the military up here like that National freaking guard. Wow, they really did drop drop it everywhere up here. Look at this. Damn good job, you guys. Damn good job. I mean, look at the whole side of the hills, red and pink. Springs was evacuated and one little tiny portion of Big Bear was evacuated but those have been lifted and we're coming out of the fog as you can see fog certainly is in the right place I'll tell you that they drop some more fast check over here really 
really laid that stuff down. Excuse me. Tell you what, I'm getting pretty tired. Didn't sleep well last night. Left the hotel at about 5.30 this morning in Apple Valley. Just had a really rough night. Those of you still watching who didn't know yet, my, my, I just lost my father two weeks ago. I flew out to Florida to be with him, um, and I, I just made it on time. I can't believe he's gone. It's just, it still doesn't feel real. But enough of my sad, whiny stuff. Yeah, I mean, look at, they, they smashed this whole area with that FOSS check stuff. interesting to see this. For them to drop it right here, that's, I mean, this, that fire really must have been very close. But I don't see any, any scarring to the right here at all. Anywhere in there. That's good, that's great. I'm just trying to figure out the method to their madness. Wow, beautiful blue skies up ahead. too much further probably another 20 minutes till we get back to Big Bear wow man I mean they had those planes coming in constantly dropping this stuff and dropping water I guess the planes weren't really dropping water mostly the helicopters I think Kind of looks like we have a nasty fungus growing up here, doesn't it? All that pink and red. Beep, beep, beep. We're coming up to the first ski resort called Snow Valley Ski Resort. This is a little sledding area <clears throat> that gets really packed in the winter time. I think a lot of people on their way up to Big Bear when there's so much traffic, because it, it'll be bumper to bumper from here all the way to Big Bear. I think they just say, ah, forget it. We'll just take the kids sledding instead and save a ton of money as well. <laughs> So this ski resort, the fire came right up to the very back side of it and they were actually using their, their snow making machines to fight the fire, which is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant because these ski resorts have a lot of those, a lot of those machines and they, 
they utilized them here. It's gotta be cold on that motorcycle. It's 43 degrees right here. You can really smell the smoke here though. Really smell it. That's bad. As soon as I roll down that window, just got smashed in the face with that stink. Once it gets a little more mild, it's gonna smell like a wintertime fireplace. And it smells so good, but it's still a little bit overwhelming at this point. definitely make it on time to get breakfast at McDonald's. I wish they served the McGriddle all day long, but I'd be fatter than I already am if they did. Usually I, I have some pretty serious sleeping issues, so I don't, I don't fall asleep till about 4 or 5 in the morning. I'll be in bed at 10, 30, 11 o'clock, but I cannot go to bed without the TV on, and then I'm always enthralled with whatever I'm watching. And I can't stop watching. Uh, we're coming up to the little Arctic Circle, the beginning of it. And at the other end of it is when we hit the town of Big Bear Lake. When it's really clear, this is a really beautiful area. Steep cliffs, beautiful views. We're at 7,112 feet right here. And on a nice day, you can see Big Bear Lake right here, across there, but right now you, you can't really see, see much. And the lake looks tiny from, from over here. Looks like a pond. Yeah, everybody, not a bad drive. If those of you who don't like driving in the fog, even though we did hit some fog on Highway 38, wasn't nearly as bad, and it usually is never as bad as Highway 18. So come up to Big Bear, taking Highway 38, if the fog is gonna concern you. And it does a lot of people. As I said, there's, these are very steep cliffs that go down thousands of feet. You don't want to play around with that right there. I'm just so used to it after driving these roads for 10 years and all the time. This part of the road, the, actually the whole little Arctic Circle, we do get some pretty nasty rock slides. There's a, a little rock in the street right there. Um, I mean, really, really bad. Good sized rocks that'll come down and and severely damage your car, and 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 even worse. Years ago, a, a friend on this channel sent me a really awful, sad message that they're their cousin was leaving Big Bear and a big rock came down and crushed their car. That's just 
absolutely, absolutely terrible. If you're watching, I sure hope your family's doing okay. Yeah, look at how steep that is. It's a long way down. This area is completely covered in snow. Unbelievably gorgeous. Unbelievably gorgeous. But you gotta worry because that weight of the snow makes a lot of these rocks come down. There's some of the smoke mixing in with, with the clouds right there. Is there still an active part of the fire right there? pretty darn easy drive you guys as I said earlier of course we want you to come up here we we need you guys I just don't want anyone to put yourselves through having to breathe all the nasty smoke especially if the winds start blowing our direction again it, it's I mean it was horrible yesterday horrible for the second half of the day before guys see all these orange posts right for those of you who are wondering what those are those are uh, snow snow gauges basically for the uh, for the snow plows when the snow is deep to be able to see where the edge is if you go up to some parts of the Sierra Nevadas these orange things are so much taller <laughs> I mean so much taller I wish we got that much snow down here but we don't I think we average about 70 inches a year. 
but there have been a few different storms or series of storms back to back to back to back that have uh, dropped our annual snowfall in just a couple storms. Alright guys, we're entering Big Bear Lake now. Thank you for cruising. I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. Super, super foggy, a bit sketchy, but not a bad drive. And uh, we hope to see you all soon. As soon as we cross this area, we will be shutting this down. There's our beautiful lake. You can barely see it, but that's it, folks. Thanks again for cruising.